Delivery driver hears screaming down the street, then runs toward the source. Not everybody has the courage to run into danger, especially at the risk of their own safety. Sean Campbell wasn't afraid when he heard the desperate screams of someone crying for help in the middle of his workday. Instead, the 23-year-old dropped everything and jumped into action. Sean, an Amazon delivery driver, was just finishing up a long workday in December of 2020. He'd been driving around for hours, dropping off a slew of packages, which left his back in pain. Luckily, he had just one delivery left to go. Sean pulled up to a neighborhood in New Smyrna Beach, Florida. He parked the truck, went around back, and removed the last of his workload. He skillfully piled the packages on top of one another with full hands, made his way to the final destination. Sean's muscles shook as he balanced the packages. All he could think about was the end of his shift and the start of his weekend. It was Friday after all. That's when he heard the screaming. Sean's focus immediately shifted when he heard someone in terror. I heard the screaming, and when you hear something like that, you have to go to it, Sean later told Wesh. With that, he dropped his boxes and bolted toward the source. As Sean got closer, he began to understand what was happening. High above the rooftops was a swirl of dark smoke. Soon, bright orange flames were coming into view. He was heading straight for a fire. Sean finally made it to the burning house. As he searched for the source of the crying, he noticed two people standing outside. One woman was in a total panic. Sean would quickly find out why. The woman, who'd just been rescued by her neighbor, was crying for her husband, who was still trapped inside. The neighbor was too afraid to face the flames again, but Sean was feeling brave. He did what few strangers would even consider. Sean ran to the building and saw the flames towering above him. What if he made his way into the fire and the man hadn't survived? Sean might get stuck in the inferno himself. But quickly, Sean shook off his fears and went for the door. The knob was warm and wouldn't turn. With sweat pouring down his face, Sean began ramming his body against the door. He kicked and thrashed until finally he ripped the door off the hinges. With that, he ran inside to search for the man. The house was filled with a smoky haze. Sean yelled out to the man, but there was no response. Perhaps I'm too late, thought Sean. Then he entered the kitchen and gasped. There was the elderly man standing alone, holding onto his walker for dear life. I don't think he really knew what was going on, Sean later told Wesh. I was like, sir, come on, I need to help you, come on, let's get out. But the man wouldn't budge. Sean could tell the elderly man was confused. To get him to move, Sean would have to be calm and rational. The old man, still in a daze, insisted on grabbing his walker, but Sean knew that wouldn't suffice. I was like, no, we gotta move. You've got to see another day, said Sean, trying to move the old man along without hurting him. As the old man shuffled, smoke billowed in the hallway. If they didn't hurry, they could both end up passing out. As the old man continued to shuffle along, Sean considered picking him up, but any physical damage would make the entire ordeal pointless. Slowly and hastily, Sean led the old man to the front door. Finally, the pair made it through the doorway. Flames gathered behind them as they made their triumphant exit. The woman who'd been screaming was now crying with joy. Moments later, firefighters arrived on the scene. That's when they realized one family member was still missing. Still inside the house was the elderly couple's dog. Fortunately, the delivery driver didn't have to go back into the burning building. Sean was shocked to witness the arriving firefighters rescue the pup in less than two minutes. As for the house, it was simply too late. The couple's home was no longer livable. Thankfully, they were able to move in with their grandson, whose father, Tim West, was in shock after hearing about his parents' rescue. Tim was beaming as he spoke to Wesh. It was fantastic that he was both here and able to go inside and brave enough to go inside. Tim told Wesh of Campbell. We really appreciate that. Even Amazon spoke up about Campbell's brave actions. We love hearing stories about drivers being everyday heroes for our customers in the communities they serve, said Amazon. Everyone at Amazon was touched by Sean going above and beyond to help someone in need, and we're excited to celebrate and thank him for his great efforts. Sean's response was humbling. 
I'm thankful I got the people inside out, Sean told Wesh, both relieved and heartened to have helped someone in need. Locals are now calling Sean a hero, and we couldn't agree more. Sean insists he was just doing what anyone else would, and as luck would have it, he wasn't the only Amazon driver to prevent disaster. <laughs>